Okay, today we're going to be unboxing the Starlink Performance Kit, which is new as of June 2025. I just got this today, and we're going to take a look at what's inside. <clears throat> a little bit different colors for this Starlink. They've been using the gray for a number of years. This one's quite dark. This is Starlink Performance. This is... Uh, like some sort of reusable foam. Ooh, quite sticky. Oh, I hate that noise. And you can see the underside. It's molded for the dish itself. We'll get that out of the way. Now we see, oh, that was static electricity. That's great. I'm sure it's hopefully uh, <laughs> able to handle that. Uh, this is metal. This is aluminum, which is what they said the case would be, but I was kind of expecting it to be the edges. It's the whole thing. Completely aluminum. It looks like it's anodized and then painted with uh, gray paint. We've got four mounting points. Looks like from uh, what I can see. Kind of disappointing, you don't get a mount with this, I don't believe. I had to order that separately, and it's not here. So I may have to fashion my own mount. Uh, it looks like I could probably do something with a couple of screws and some washers and maybe some standoffs to do that. Looks like some air holes there, and then the uh, IP65++ rated connector, which looks pretty nice. So now I know why the why the box weighs 29 pounds. This thing is heavy duty. This has got to be the heaviest Starlink I've ever had. Uh, whoa, let's turn it over. So on the edge, I don't know if you can see that very well, that aluminum comes right around the edge. Uh, and then it comes up proud of the dish. And we have Looks like a getting started card with a bunch of stuff on it. Download the app, plug in some stuff. You've got the internet. Uh, and then you can see the power supply, which I'm excited about since it's AC and DC. And then it comes with a wall mount. Instead of having to buy that separate or find it, uh, at the bottom of that comes apart. So we'll look at that as well. Anything on the back? Nope, Starlink Performance. So we'll set that over here as well. Top of it looks different. It's almost got like a matte finish to it. It doesn't look like something you can remove. Well, there's a little mark way over there. Oh no, that's just junk on it. It does look like there's a plastic surface. It's kind of hard to see probably in the camera, but there's a little lip right here, a little plastic lip. So I wonder if that's removable. I don't see anything in instructions, but again, that metal case is super awesome. It comes right up around the edge. Um, I haven't had any issues with all the other five or six Starlings I've had in terms of longevity, but uh, you know, we've only ever had them for a year or two before a new one comes out. So this is nice to see that they're doing something that looks like it will last a lot longer in the marine environment. So <laughs> I'll move that super heavy. Starlink somewhere where I don't break it. Oh. Or drop it. Oh boy. Wow, that power supply is huge. Uh, okay, well, let's start with the cables. This is the dish cable. It's got the dish symbol on it. It's got some Velcro ties. That's kind of nice. So we've got their weird little Ethernet end. So that hasn't changed from the previous generation with the uh, Tiny little tab on it and Ethernet. And then this should be the super fancy waterproof. Oh, it's got like a spring loaded latch. I didn't like that. That's way better than the high performance one, which was really kind of janky. You kind of clipped it in and hoped that it stayed in. A lot of people had issues with theirs with water getting in. Uh, and then the current um, rectangular dish, it's ethernet and it's waterproof, but it's nowhere near as nice as this. That's super nice. So that's the dish cable. I'm guessing this is just an ethernet cable. Yep, ethernet on that end. I'm Starlink ethernet, so out of the back of their 
power supply and then it's like normal ethernet there yep so that's just to connect to your router this does not come with a router which i'm fine with because i use peplink but if you buy this you have to have a router to connect this to or a switch or something else so that is the dc power cable i was curious what it was going to be looks like it's uh maybe not proprietary i think i might have seen that end before Looks like it's the same on both ends, so I'm going to end up lopping one end of that off and uh, putting some marine grade terminals on it and putting that on power block. And then I'm guessing this is just an AC power cable. And that actually looks pretty standard as well. Well, kind of. No, it's not, of course. Okay, so those are the cables. Now, this is the other piece that I was... Holy... Yeah, this is also heavy. Wow. Okay, the whole package weighs 30 pounds, which is quite heavy. So this is the power supply. And you can see... I'm going to guess this weighs 5 or 6 pounds at least. It's got the Starlink grid on the back. Let's see what it says here. UTP 252C is the model number. It says... 12 to 57 volts at 25 amps. So, I mean, that's ugh, that's a lot if you're running it at 12 volts. Uh, I'm hoping it's not going to use 25 amps all the time. It's reportedly supposed to only use 70 to 100 watts total. Um, and I see it's giving you various different amperages and voltages there, too. Probably a little hard to see on the screen, but you can see 57 volts at various different amounts with the amount of PoE, depending on what you're using. So we'll have to give that all a test, but i um, excited that there is at least a DC option. Uh, now, supposedly, you can undo these. Ugh. I should probably read the quick start guide. I can't really get them to turn. And this little piece comes off so you can mount it on the wall. But let's take a look at the ports in here. This is the AC power. Oh, I like how that's sealed. So if you're not using it, it's still waterproof. That's really nice. Rock. That is your DC power. It's nice and deep and waterproof. And then I'm guessing, whoops, that these are the Ethernet ports. They don't appear, ah, they are labeled. So that one is Ethernet out to your router. That one is Ethernet to the dish. I'm guessing that's a power light. Yep, it doesn't look like a reset port. It looks like a power light. And then there's your DC power indicator, plus and minus, and your AC power there as well. So I do like how they're all on the bottom, that they're not on the back or on the side that some of the others were. You can mount it on a wall, so they're all pointing down, so that if water did get into some place, it's not going to get into them. But boy, oh boy, that is one hefty power supply. Regulatory notices, which I never read. And then some significant screws. Maybe stainless. We won't chance that. We'll use our own. So there you go. That is the uh, Starlink Performance Kit. Uh, we've got that new AC and DC power supply. No router. Just Ethernet out to your router. And then Ethernet with this fancy waterproof cable out to the dish. Um, aluminum outside. I'm really excited about that and lasting longer. It's also supposed to work with their newer generation of satellites and they're claiming that we may be even seeing gigabit speeds. Of course, that's dependent upon your plan when you get to uh, next year. But at least this year, this guy uh, is uh, the next one that is going to go up on the boat here. It from a size perspective, it is slightly larger than the standard rectangular one. And I'll do some comparisons in another video just so you can see that. But I'm excited to, to have it. Um, you know, uh, as a boater, Starlink is the one of the primary ways I stay connected. Uh, I may not agree with politics in the world right now and who owns what, but this is the only option out there other than cellular. And in many cases, I'm in places where cellular doesn't work. So excited to give this a try, get it up and running. Um, again, I'm going to have to figure out my own mount, but there you go.